This is the training tutorial on the metal drill press. So this is our metal drill press. It's actually a mini milling machine, but we dedicate it just for drilling steel um, and the purposes of just doing that. Um, when approaching the machine, you'll have to make sure that the emergency switch is off. When completed with the machine, this should be locked in and engaged so it doesn't let the motor continue to run. Um, like all tools you'll need, or like the other drill presses that you'll have or other drills that you have, you've got your chuck here. So there's a selection of bits down here. You can select which bit that you want to use. Uh, there's also some magnets to help you remember which bit you're using. So I've got drill bit number one selected and I'm going to go ahead and put this bit in manually tightening the chuck to the point that it's gripped the bit evenly. Then I grab the chuck key which is over here on a magnetic bar and put that back when I'm done. Now I can check the height of the drill press to make sure it's going to go all the way through the material and not much more. It's requested that you drill outside of the um, vise area so that there's no chance of getting any damage to the vise. If that's not a possibility and you do need to drill in the vise area, because this is such a small range tool, there are a smaller set of parallel bars available here at the front of the tool that you can put in the vise and again check your height set this stop bar which is on the back of the tool so that you will not drill further than um, you need to uh, much more than the thickness of the material and certainly not into the vise area so once you have everything set you can uh, put your material in, secure it with the vise, and then you can control your positioning here uh, with these two uh, position rollers to locate the drill bit center to where it's supposed to drill. Um, there is a punch available on the side of the tool as well as some other marking tools that you may find useful to locate the center of the stock. When you're ready to drill, Make sure that you are set to an appropriate range for the tool. Um, the tool diameter is being given back here along with the RPM values. There is a high and a low to this tool. So on this uh, back side of this behind the bear, there is a range switch to put you into the high gear or the low gear depending on where you need to go. After you've got that set in the correct gear, then you can turn it on here with the on switch and then you bring it up to speed with the RPM values to match what you're drilling. With that on, repeat the same process that we discussed before on the other drill press with the arm control on the lever, maintaining control with your arm and sliding your hand back to bring the drill press down and reverse the procedure to bring it back up. This is a smaller handle. You may feel comfortable to just roll it around. As long as you maintain control of it, that's okay. Uh, once you've completed using the tool and you've drilled all the holes that you need, oh, actually before we do that, since we're drilling in metal, there's a lubrication involved. Make sure you lubricate the piece a couple times before you drill into it. Um, that helps pro -life the, uh, prolong the life of the drill bit. So a couple squirts every now and then. Uh, doesn't have to be a lot and since this is a water-based fluid make sure you clean off the tool real good with some rags provided here. Uh, there's also some gloves if you're handling some messy steel. Um, but uh, water-based make sure you clean it off uh, at the end of its use. There's also a clean out tool here to get into the channels and the ways so that you can better clean the tool up after its use. There's also a vacuum provided over here, which the switch is right here, so you can vacuum up all your shavings into a dedicated vacuum for that. Make sure that when you're done with the tool, in addition to doing all that cleanup, that you put your drill bits away 
in the correct spaces so nobody has to look for where that drill bit needs to go. Um, there's also a chip brush. You can sweep off your chips that way. And then you can turn off this light. Again, set this to the off position and shut that off as well. And this has been the safe operation of the metal drill press. Um, in addition to uh, um, the same rules will apply as far as uh, making sure you don't get your hands caught or tangled hazards to the drill bit um, and make sure you keep your hands away as you're drilling. Um, all standard safe precautions when using a drill press. This has been the safe operation of the metal drill press.